Here is an easy way to grease your swing arm bearings. So first thing you want to do is of course clean off all the dirt and debris that's around the outside. It's best to have the swing arm in an easy to work on location. Then I use a pick to pull out what's called the buckets. And these kind of encapsulate the shaft and they are up against the seal. And you want to look at them and if there's a little bit of grease inside of there, you're probably in good shape. But if the bearings are rusted, you're going to want to replace it. So then you're going to slide the shaft back just a little bit, but you want to be careful because there are two sets of bearings in there. And if you pull it out too far and they're dry, they'll fall out. Now you pack it with grease and a good waterproof grease in there. Again, make sure that shaft isn't too far out so that you can get the grease in there, which will allow the needles to become sticky. Now you go to the other side and spin the shaft in there to get the grease to start wrapping around the bearings. Now you want to be careful not to pull that shaft too far out because if you do, the bearings will start falling down and you will end up with this, which will take you about 20 minutes to put all back together. When this happens, what you're going to have to do is grease up your finger and then start picking the bearings up and start placing them back. Try to get them in line and then you use your finger to kind of massage it around. And then you realize you're missing one or two, you're going to find those down in the lip of the seal. And you can take a pick or something, again, kind of try to pick them up, place them back in position. And again, use your finger to kind of press them into place and they will go. When you get the grease all good and it's packed in, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now you're going to want to take the shaft and start rotating it and work it around. So you double up the other side. But here's a trick. After you've done both sides, there's a channel in the middle between the bearings that you can pack some additional grease into. So you carefully slide the shaft back out with your finger, pack a bunch more grease into that middle section, and then you're going to slide the shaft back in and get everything ready. The last step here is to grease the outside. So you're packing grease up against the seal before you put the bucket back in and then you've got it all nice and watertight. You might have to press it because there might be extra grease in there that you're gonna have to squeeze out. But after that, clean it up and you should be ready to reassemble. Okay.